ADJ Designs is a St. Louis-based, full-service, high-end residential interior design firm. April Jensen is CEO and founder, and she's here today to share some of the hottest design trends for 2020. We're also going to talk about, I mean, you've brought so much cool stuff. We have so thank many you. beautiful photos. Exactly. I'm already in love with this fabric, so thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you. I'm excited. So, well, before we get into the trends for 2020, maybe let's talk about what you've been seeing as the past trends for this year, maybe the past year. What's kind of where things have been and where they're going? I think really what I've seen the most of is a change in people being a little bit more uh, having fun having fun with color, uh, brighter, higher saturated tones, um, textures, metallics, animal prints, and really using them in unexpected ways. Instead of taking themselves so seriously, they're lightening up and having a little fun with their interiors. So we're not going to see all grays no, anymore, grays. No. <laughs> well, I mean, gray, if gray works for you, mm -hmm. it, it, that's a great color, but mixing it with maybe pops of yellow or emerald green, and uh, things that really brighten. And uh, I think people are really looking for some happiness and coziness mm -hmm. and comfort. And I think they're really trying to reach out and say, I need to brighten things up. Mm -hmm. I need to have a little bit more fun. I want to talk to you about something specific too. When you are a designer, I think there's this kind of notion that when we get into interior design that it's just talking about one sort of room or one piece of furniture or something like that. And really what you're doing as a designer is talking about an experience that you want to have in your home. And so talk about that. You're really going in and saying what to your clients. You're saying, how can I make this both function for you and then also the aesthetic side of it. Talk, talk, talk about that process. We're trying to, when, when people reach out to us, our first question to them is, what are your expectations? What are you really wanting your home to um, do for you? You know, for instance, if it's a kitchen, obviously we want it to function and do the things that kitchens need to do, especially for busy families. But what else do you want it to uh, do as far as color? Uh, textures, countertop material, uh, lighting. Lighting is so important. It's like the jewelry of every room. Right. So you, you want to take uh, care of all the little details mm -hmm. so that when someone comes into their space, it really makes them feel good and also makes them feel uh, effect, you know, effective and, and, and it's a useful space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, really makes you happy. I want to take a look at, we have some really gorgeous photos and they're a reflection of your work, mm -hmm. um, your space too, I think. Yes. Let's take a look yeah. at them and just kind of walk me through and, okay. and share with me like when you're um, working on, it, well first I should ask you, where is this? Is this? So this is a dining room. This is actually my dining room. This is your dining room. Yes, and it's a collection of things that just really mean something to me. The the chairs and kind of give me a throwback to when I was a kid. Mm. It, it, my mom had similar chairs in our dining room. The hutch allowed me to display some of my treasures. I collect milk glass and oh, jadeite. Okay. And I have a couple collections of uh, china that you know were my grandparents and my husband's grandparents. So they mean something to me. And then the artwork is from a local artist that um, I really uh, admire. Mm -hmm. And the angel wings were, I, I bought them thinking, I have no idea what I'm going to do with these, but I really want them. I bought them in Texas and brought them home. And my husband's like, what are you going to do with these? <laughs> and I, I just love the fact that we put them in a, a really different type of, uh, we hung them kind of unexpected. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, and I think that points to too, that balance too between buying something new or going for new designs, but also a reflection as you're alluding to of something that's so personal. So when you're working with clients that might have inherited pieces, mm -hmm. you work with them to find a way to incorporate that into newer design as well? Always. We try to be very respectful of the things that mean something to people because I don't know what that might mean to them. I don't know what memory that might conjure for them. I don't know if it's a grandparent, a mother, like they remember being a child, being read to in a, a chair. Um, but the way that we approach them is keep the structure, mm -hmm. but if you're wanting to modernize it, we can always reupholster. And that chair takes on a new life yeah. and, and then continues to build its history. 
and maybe you'll read to your daughter or your son in that chair or whatever the memory might be. I want to, we have got, we have more photos that I want to go through to take that reflect again, okay. you know, work and talk again a little bit about some of these trends, sure. but we're going to take a quick break. But before we go on the screen, it's information to how you can reach out to April and her design firm. It's ADJ Interiors. Um, and we're talking about the trends for 2020 uh, that are upcoming, but you can reach out to them with any question and ideas that you might have if you are thinking of doing a full home remodel or, or just even little, even, little, yeah. even, even little, but head to the website adjinteriors.com. But don't go anywhere. We're going to have more right after the short break. We'll be right back.